In today's video, I am interviewing Gary Vaynerchuk. Yes, the real Gary V. Um, this interview, I did this interview actually 10 years ago. I found this on an old computer. I used to have a job search blog uh, all about how you could easily network your way to a job. Um, so this whole interview I did, it was only 10 minutes. I was able to get a hold of him by buying some of his books. Uh, this the whole story behind this is long, so I'm gonna keep this short. But in the interview, we talked about networking, we talked about how to get started on social media, and you can apply all of this to reselling. Um, that is one of the biggest questions I get asked all the time. How do you build relationships with bigger sellers or just people in general? Uh, and Gary covers all of that. It's just related to a job search, but you could reapply it to reselling. Uh, it really brought me back. I'm a huge Gary Vaynerchuk fan, um, and this computer was on its way out. So selfishly, I also wanted just to have this on the internet, a place to find it, but I also thought you guys would find it helpful. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and please subscribe to the channel i'll see you. yo it's gary hey gary how are you good man how are you good thank you for doing this i really appreciate it no worries man i consider you to be uh the ultimate networker slash relationship builder well i appreciate that my man um i know family comes first and the last time i saw you we were at uh we work your sister was in labor. I just wanted to know how your sister was and how her baby turned out and everything. Oh, great. Thank you so much. Everything's great. Uh, she had a baby girl. It was great. Everything's awesome. Thanks. All right, great. I'm glad to hear that. Um, I have a ton of questions for you, but in Gary V fashion, I'm going to do questions that are going to help my readers the most. And just for a little context, my readers are ambitious 20 to 30 somethings who are trying to find their first job, second job, or just advance their careers. No problem. Um, one of my favorite quotes of yours, and it's actually on my iPhone background, is don't pull the 19-year-old dude move on social media. You should never try to close on the first interaction. And I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about how young professionals in their 20s and 30s could apply that to networking and their job search. You know, I think it talks about patience, right? Like nobody wants to do business with people. You know, when you're networking or job searching, you know, you, you, if you try to act too aggressively up front with no relationship, it's a massive human turnoff, right? So right. you go to a networking event and you roll up on somebody, hand them your business card and tell them what you're selling and asking them to buy, you're just not going to convert at a high level. And so, you know, the 19-year-old dude move is a fun little kind of like joke that I always make about, you know, guys trying to hit on girls too quick at a bar. Right. Same thing, a little romance, a little foreplay goes a long way in business. And I think that a lot of people are missing that. Awesome. Thank you. Um, you recently did a six-hour screencast that I was there for the whole day to launch your new book, Jab, 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 Right Hook. And I'm so excited to get the book. I ordered 15 copies, and you got me to buy another five on the screencast, and I can't wait. Looking forward to giving them away. Um, I appreciate it, brother. My pleasure. I can't wait to get it. Um, you mentioned on that call the importance of going to networking events. And I was wondering if you could explain a little bit why they're important and maybe some people you've met at a networking event that's really helped you build your business or career. I mean, networking events, you know, <laughs> it's why I love social media because I think Twitter's one big networking event, right? And so, right. you know, to me, people do business with people. And so wherever you can meet them, that's the game. And so I'm a big fan of networking events. I believe in a tremendously um, – I, I, I don't know any other way. It's why I don't like automated products on, on the social Internet, you know, because I think it's not human. Um, anything that puts you in a position to be able to tell your story to somebody else in the context of where you are is exciting. And networking events, you're there for business, right? It's appropriate for you to listen to somebody else's business and for them to listen to yours. So they're the ultimate to me. Um, it's why, again, I love Twitter so much because it's the closest digital replication of that. And so I'm a fan. Awesome. Is there some, maybe one person that uh, you've met at a networking event or really on Twitter that's really boosted your career or maybe like a mentor? I, would I mean, I, would I don't have mentors. You know, okay. say my parents are kind of my mentors. Other than that, I kind of am self in, in my own little bubble. But as far as have advanced my career, the far majority of people that I've met have been at tech conferences or on Twitter 
or on Facebook fan pages or at South by Southwest. I mean, it's funny to hear you ask that question. To me, it's the majority, not the minority. Wow, that's that's really great because a lot of people always tell me that they're afraid to go to networking events, and my argument is always that's where a lot of things happen, so it's great to hear someone say that. My, it's the truth. I mean, I just don't even understand um, any other way. Awesome. Um, for the jab, 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 right hook, um, is, can people apply that philosophy to their career and in networking as well? Yeah, I mean, I think jab, 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 right hook, which stands for the people listening, give, 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 and then ask, is not only something that applies to networking, applies to all business, I think it applies to life. I think that I have a lot of friends because I'm always willing to pay forward. And uh, the more you give, the more you get on the back end. So, yeah, I mean, that to me is a no-brainer. Yes, the answer is yes. <laughs> all right, awesome. <laughs> um, can you give some young professionals some advice on – maybe how to get started on social media and why it's important for maybe career advancement. And if they're not on social media right now, what social network would you suggest them to get started on? Maybe not so much Facebook since they're probably already on it, but maybe another one. I would say Twitter and um, it, it, you know, Twitter to me is just a complete no brainer. Um, uh, after that, it gets into Pinterest, Tumblr, Instagram, Vine as like kind of the next thing of like depending on what you do for a living, one can matter okay. more than the other. Um, so, but to me, you know, Google Plus, LinkedIn, Snapchat, other sites that people should be considering. I mean, ultimately, why they should be on it? It's where communication and conversation is headed, right? You know, more and more business opportunities are falling in social networks. So to me, it's a complete no-brainer. Got it. Talking about a little bit about LinkedIn, I love all your posts that you have on there. And a lot of job experts say that's the place to be. Do you agree with that? I don't really hear you talk much about LinkedIn. But I was just LinkedIn wondering what you thought a, about you, it. LinkedIn is a utility, right? You're there to like do like I like LinkedIn, but I uh I uh I'm a fan, but I um but I think of it more as a, a utility for recruiters and people looking to advance their careers within a corporate environment. It's not necessarily the place I think where I can go and do networking, bartering, and, and real business. I find Twitter and Facebook to be dramatically more fertile for that. Now, my content that I put on there is because I've been lucky enough to be selected one, as one of the 100 kind of influencers that gets to put out content, and that's a media play. That's not available to everybody, so it's acting right. differently. Well, how were you selected for that? Did they reach out to you, or did you reach out to them? They reached out to me. Awesome. Um, for a lot of people say that you can't job search on Twitter, and I know you're a huge Twitter fan. I was wondering maybe – I know you did you built Wine Library a lot on basically search terms. I was wondering, do you think people can do that for their job search or even for networking in general? You know, I think – I think job search can happen on Twitter, um, <clears throat> very much so, especially if you're following the right people. I mean, if you go and follow a thousand recruiters right now on Twitter, you're going to get a job from it. Okay. Because they're going to be pushing out their opportunities. You're going to jump in and reply. They're going to look at you, and you've got your shot. So Twitter is a powerful tool. Like Anybody who doesn't realize its value is just not interested in putting in work. That's what makes Twitter hard. The reason people don't like Twitter is because it's work. Okay. Yeah, I love Twitter is probably one of my favorite networks. I'm not really a big fan of Facebook anymore, but it's really Twitter and LinkedIn. And I just think it's great how you interact with everyone on Twitter and are able to apply to everyone. So would that be your network of choice over LinkedIn for most job seekers I mean, and people trying to build their career? I mean, yes. I mean, you should definitely fill out your LinkedIn profile and create your virtual resume there and make yourself available. But I think Twitter allows you to search terms of industries you're looking for, look at people's profiles, see if they're a recruiter or if they work at that place. We've hired seven people at VaynerMedia because they've reached out to employees of VaynerMedia by searching VaynerMedia, engaging with them, and then they became more considered because people within the company knew who they were. Wow. That's Awesome. So when you so if you want to work at a company, follow people that work at that company, create relationships, and then ask them. Back to jab, 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 right hook. 
actually build relationships with people at ESPN and then ask them, hey, are there any openings? And they're like, yeah, man, I know you. We talk all the time on Twitter. Here's the guy you need to talk to. Boom. Wow. So how would you suggest then building that relationship? Would it just be... By listening, watching what they talk about on Twitter and then replying to it instead of pushing yourself on them. So if you want to be a production assistant on, at ESPN, follow producers on ESPN, see that one of them say something about the San Francisco Giants, and then make a comment about pan, you know, Big Panda, right? And like talk about Panda, right. you know, Sandoval, and then have a relationship, and then have a chance to actually then ask them. Uh, that's just great advice. A lot of people are, yeah, definitely with all the push. Um, what would you say was maybe the biggest, thing that had impact on advancing your career? I know that most of it you would say is hustle. Would that be your answer? Yeah, I think so. I mean, work is a uh, work. There's no substitution for work. Right. All right. That's great. And I guess on the other hand, when you're talking a little bit about Vander Media and how you guys hired seven of those people, is there a lot of the people that you hire uh, within other people's networks, or is it for people who reach out to you guys? I mean, I'm sure since you're a big, you're basically like the face of the company, a lot of people might try to go after you. But how would, how do you guys hire most people? We have recruiters. We take hold applications. Like I said earlier, um, you know, people come through referrals from people they've met on social networks. So it's been a mix. You know, it can come from any direction. Awesome. Very cool. Um, when is, does the new book come out? It comes out in November, right? It comes out November 26th. Awesome. Uh, I just wanted to thank you so much for doing this. and I'm, I'm a huge fan. It really meant a lot to me that you're able to take out the time when you're pushing out your book. Dude, thank you so much. Your tweets earlier today really made me feel nice. I mean, to say those kind of things is just so humbling and I really wish you nothing but success, and let's keep chatting on Twitter and getting to know each other, and I wish you the best. Thanks so much, Gary. That means the world to me, and I will definitely stay in contact, and I look forward to keeping in contact and reading your book. Thanks, brother. Take care. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.